Hi there, my name is Evan Coleman and I'm with the Koskin Game Creation Team. I'm here to talk to you today about installing the Source SDK. You see, here at Koskin, we encourage kids to use a variety of tools to get involved in game world creation. The Source SDK happens to be the one we favor because it's highly dynamic, completely open source, and easy enough to understand. Also, because its creators, Valve Software, encourage user-created items, it's pretty easy getting your work published. Of course, if you're into gaming, you've probably already heard of Valve. They've made hugely popular games and game worlds, the most famous of which are the Half-Life, Portal, Team Fortress, and Left 4 Dead series. Now, before you can even think about creating maps in the Source SDK, you have to install the program. To do this, you'll have to follow a number of steps. First, create an account on Steam, which is Valve's game marketplace, harboring thousands upon thousands of downloadable PC and Mac video games. Unfortunately, you cannot use Source SDK if you have a Mac, but if you're that desperate to use the tools, you can always use virtual machine software like VMware. There. Done. You have an account, now use that login to download the Steam client for your computer. There aren't any special settings you'll need to apply, so you can head through the installation process without clicking much else but the next button. So you have the Steam client. Perfect. Now we can install a game that the Source SDK will let us edit. This can't be any game though, it has to be a game made using Valve's Source engine. A good free example is Team Fortress 2. It is rated M, however, so make sure you have the right permissions to play if you're under 18. If you wish, some other paid games you can use are Portal, Half-Life, and Gary's Mod, although the last requires some extra setup that we will cover in later videos. All of these games are very demanding of your computer, so make sure that your machine fills the requisite criteria for download. Click on the search bar up above, type in Team Fortress 2, and select the first item that pops up. Once you've checked the requirements and everything's clear, go ahead and click the green Free to Play button, which will lead you to a download screen. While that game is downloading, you can also begin installing the Source SDK's toolset. Go into the Library tab, then there should be a drop down box nearby. Click on it, then select the Tools option. Scroll down until you find the Source SDK, select it, and click on the Install button. Let all your downloads finish, and congratulations, you've successfully installed the Source SDK.